Hey guys, it's Kami and you know what? I got a lot of different boosting buffs for exp, skill exp and other exp from recent events, as well as those that I made myself and gathered, and so I had some time and decided to farm a little bit, so that I can free up some inventory space from character bound buffs. Long story short, with my 153 death, on the right side of Altinova I won't be able to hold huge crowd of mobs, and so the choice can be narrowed down to Helmet's post and Southern Garrison. The latest being my actual choice. You can see its location on your screen. Why so? Because mobs there are a bit higher levels, ranging from red gradation up to violet for level 52. Also, it has more overcrowded spots than Helmet's post, and even though that mobs are higher levels, I find them easier than those inside the cave of Helmet's post. Moreover, Helmet's post mobs drop lots of useless items that can be sold to any NPC, while in Southern Garrison you will get lots of exchangeable items. Which leads us to simple conclusion. South and Garrison yields more gold and eggs per minute as well as other random drop. You might also consider Soldier's Grave, but it is not that overcrowded, or if you find all of the previous ones too hard, then Elric Shrine would be the way to go. Both of those I have shown in my previous video about the color of mob's name. Though I have to say that moving between all of them will also be a good way to collect knowledge and titles. Anyway, in South and Garrison you will mainly drop a crap load of Grunil and Krea, as well as some mediocre crystals and few useful alchemy materials. As for the exchange items, you will get 3 different types there, exchange prices of which are on your screens right now. Not the best prices, but still good. The only problem being that they get you overweight very fast. In order to lessen that influence, you can potentially stay there without potions and stuff, but I would not recommend that. As at the time of recording this video, there were quite a few guys there, including some that one shot at my second armored horse, that stayed at safe from mob space and helped me as temporary storage for exchange items, so that I could stay in place a bit longer. Kinda disappointing as I raised her pretty safely without a single death, but that's not the point. The point is that you can encounter PvP her, so it would be wise to carry these few potions with you. Good spots are all over the place and easy to find, those are either platoons or camps. If for the first ones everything is obvious, then for the camp just simply hit tents, but don't destroy them, unless you are ready to move on, as those tents will constantly spawn mobs. And that's pretty much it. GPM and XPM will depend on your offensive stats, as well as skills and ability to move fast between spots. In any case, even without boosting buffs, just within few dedicated hours you should be able to get level 54 or maybe even 55. Haven't got there yet, but from what I have seen, level 54 will surely be an easy task there. Even more so for those of you who will buy weight limit and inventory slots from cash shop or drive there with your wagon. Don't forget to let me know in the comment section below if you are interested in this type of information or not. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.